What's unusual with Airlocker as a product is that typically technology like this starts at motorsport level and moves down to the common man. Airlocker came from the 80s and it was originally a recreational off-roaders toy for trying to get overland cross country in very difficult areas. Motorsport picked up on that and they ran with it and we found ourselves uh, being used in desert racing uh, in the USA. It was a, an industry that was very hard to keep up with and, um, and, and we saw breakages back then as all motorsport industries see breakages and we designed and built this purpose-built test rig can essentially take the entire rear end of a vehicle uh, and put it under torque loads uh, far in excess of what the vehicle uh, can ever possibly deliver. And in doing so, we can set everything up in there and produce a failure, a failure of some component. And that allowed us to start picking um, the best components out there in terms of axle shafts uh, so that we could test ourselves against, against the toughest there was. And we broke a lot of products uh, over several years, um, varying the design, varying the heat treat, the materials, uh, surface treatments, basically trialing every what if in the book that a, an entire team of engineers could throw at the design. And that's what's given us the motorsport product we have now. The test we're about to see is a static torque failure test of a Dana 44 air locker. It's a 33 spline variant, which is a performance upgrade of a standard Dana 44. For this, we sourced the very best axle shafts we were able to get so that we could produce the highest torque failure. So in layman's terms, what we're going to do is hold the axle shaft still while we pull on the drive chain and put a torque on the differential. Uh, we've got 30,000 foot-pounds to spare in this test streak behind me, um, so we're going to see something break here today. So most people familiar with our product would know the older style diff, uh, the three-piece differentials, which um, was a very good product at the time. Um, development of this test rig allowed us to further that design, and that's when we introduced the, uh, the two-piece version of the differential, which is similar in look to what we have now, but essentially over those years, those 15 years of development, uh, the design has not stayed still for a second. Um, the materials have changed, uh, we've gone forged, net gearing which has given us amazing advantages over top of even the original um, advantages we were given by timed gearing in the two-piece design. Uh, we've come a long way with seals technology, uh, cross shafts, heat treatments. So we made that commitment 15 years ago that we were going to follow motorsport into this and uh, and we've been testing ever since then. It doesn't stop, the motors have gotten bigger, the axle shaft technology has gotten far better over the years, tires have gotten bigger, uh, transmission gearing has changed very heavily, um, and our product has had to evolve with it to stay on top. 